Hey friends, so we are back with our new video. Earlier, you have seen a robot where we have changed the speed of the robot using gears. We made an oscillatory motion. We also used gears to change the motion at, at right angles, that is at 90 degrees. In this robot, we are going to use a concept where we change the circulatory motion of our motor into a linear motion. And I hope you will like this video as much as you have liked our earlier video. For this robot, we will need four L plates, one rectangular plate, two single bars, a wheel, medium gear, big gear, spare parts, and one motor. In the first step, we create a base. For that, we need two L plates to form one wall of the base. And we are going to connect them such that their flat surfaces are aligned. We'll use the flat connectors to join these two L plates. And we'll put the nuts and bolts such that the head of the bolt is towards the flat surface, whereas the tail is inside. So we have attached two L plates. So if you see, I've attached them the flat connectors like is planted and you can see both the flat sides of the L plates are aligned. We we'll create one more such side of the base using two more L plates. So we have created two such assemblies but they form two sides of our base. Let's think about where and how we are going to attach our motor. So let's take a motor. I have already removed the motor screws and attach the motor here. So I have attached the motor. I am going to attach the medium gear over the motor and the big gear is going to drive the assembly. So I want to check the positioning of the big gear. Okay, I see the big gear center will come here. So let me make one hole to hold the axle at its place. So I'm going to make one hole using the flat rotator. So made the hole. So let me make sure that the both gears are going to mesh properly. Yes, I can see that the both gears are meshing properly. So we have attached the motor and before we put the gears on, we need to do two things. One is to create a, an earth point on this gear. And you know now that to create an earth point, I need a big bolt. So here I'm using a 1.5 inch bolt to create an earth point. So I have created an earth point. Now I am going to attach a single bar here where this slit of the single bar is going to act as a guide for my jumping toy. So I have attached the single bar. You may have to move this single bar a little up or down when you are fine tuning your motion. Now we are going to create a push pull rod. To create a push pull rod, we need one hole at one end, but this time I do not want to use the complete length of the single bar, so I am going to make hole in the second slit. So our push pull rod is ready, and now we will join a rectangular plate 
to both these walls of our base using two flat connectors. So we have created the base. If you see how we have attached, we have used flat connectors to attach the rectangular plate and the L plate both sides. So we have used one, two, three and four flat connectors. Now let's assemble our gears. So first I'm assembling the medium gear onto the motor shaft but I will be putting one flat one shaft lock to create some space so that this gear does not get obstructed by this single bar and then I lock this using another shaft lock. Now I have to put this gear here so I will be using a small axle let me put a spacer and put to this yes where it is getting engaged and let me lock these gear using two shaft locks one from outside and one from inside So we have assembled our gears, now it's time that we join our push-pull rod. The push-pull rod, the hole which we made will be mounted on the earth point but you know we need to create some space so for that we are going to use one spacer and one shaft lock to create some space and then this will be joined using a nut but you know we this is a joint so it needs to be freely moving we'll now attach one long bolt in this push pull rod that bolt actually is going to traverse the linear motion when my gear is traversing a circular motion so i'm going to put a long bolt and tighten it using the nut. This bolt is now going into our guiding single bar. But before that, we we'll put some spacers so that we have these both the bars parallel to each other. They should be parallel to each other. So I'm going to put three spacers. And then lock using a nut. Now just to show you without the motor, I will remove this medium gear for a while and I will rotate with hand this big gear and we see how our thing is going to move. So when my earth point is traversing the circular motion this point is traversing a linear motion up and down. Our main mechanism has now finished. Now we have to make some cosmetic things. For example, we'll use a wheel to act as our trampoline. But to do that, I need a hole here. So first, let's make a hole using a flat rotator. So I have attached the flat rotator. You can see it. And now through this circular hole, I'm going to attach the wheel as if it is a trampoline. So trampoline is attached. And now I'm going to create a character. Uh, in this case, I've taken a minion. And the minion has to jump on the trampoline. This is the lowest position, so I will mark the lowest position where I have to attach this. I want it a little ahead. So to do that, I am going to use two L connectors. I am going to do, use two L connectors. I'm going to join them like this, one over another, like this, and attach. 
attach them and attach this assembly to the bolt and this minion will be attached in front of this assembly using a glue drop and attach this to the bolt here and this has to be attached very very loose this way you can see we have attached this L connector it's loosely attached so that when this moves the L connector will stay always vertically down my minion is ready to jump on a trampoline I have connected the remote to my motor and now let's operate I enjoyed making this video did you enjoy minion on the trampoline if yes please do let us know your views in the comment section below i've also posted the link where you can get this kit which we have used in this video if you missed our earlier videos do not forget to watch them and don't forget to subscribe the channel because then you will get notifications whenever we upload a new video we will be coming up with another interesting video next time. Till then, happy making!